it's time for the most adorable archaeology. Welcome back to Dream Maze, the Kigurumi adventure. Previously, I became the walrus, but I'm not the walrus anymore. I'm literally human. That's what I think of you guys. If you're wondering what that suit is, it's a combination of a monster called a gorilla and a body of something called a caravarin, which is a, um, a palette swap of the hippo guy. And she's wearing green cow. Spoiled milk cow, I call that. It's cow suke. Way better than archaeology lion. Sadly, he had to go to way to dodo. And I still got these suits yet. You remember these guys. Yeah, I use them as replacements when I'm putting on new suits. Previously, I went to um, floor 7 and got a vase and a very loud motorcycle. And I went up to the northeastern part of this map to G, mainly because it's really close to the exit and has some strong stuffed animals in it. But we're done with floors 5 and 6. We can move on now. We could go to floor 7 now. There's some interesting stuff on Floor 7. There's a present, but it's not as direct as you think it is. In fact, I think I'm gonna go get the present first. That sounds like a great idea. I see some more items on this floor too, but... The present is, uh, more important because it feels secret. It feels like some kind of secret. I should be right around where that little, uh, box room is. Did you see those warps on the map? You have to go around the, the western and northern part of this area and run into Mikhail. Hmm, he's selling protections again. I should start using those. He also has an everybody kick and an everybody punch. He brought those back. Because of demand. Uh, at least he's a little bit of a businessman. Okay, did you see that? I just ran into that one warp and I ended up at the other warp. The game doesn't tell you when you're warping now. I have to go this way, and there's a fake wall right here. That'll lead us to the present. What a tricky little game you are. It tried to trick me by warping me and not telling me about it. Just watch, he'll do it again. That, ah, see? Did you see the, the, the hallway change? I warped somewhere else this time. Now I could get out of this room. Here's a silly room, let's fight pandas instead. Oh, this is cheap on again. What is he doing? He used to be in the cake tower. What's he doing in level three? Ridiculous. Let's just explode him. I am gonna fight the pump kids though because they need to die because they're filled with candy. It's almost Halloween. This game is almost becoming relevant. We're wearing costumes and beating up things for candy. It's kind of like Costume Quest before Costume Quest was ever a thing. One of these years, I might play Costume Quest. Keep an eye out for that one. That was made by the guy who created Psychonauts. Also, I'm a little bit lost now, and I'm getting attacked by these guys. Now we get the Sue Moron, which is the upgraded version of Cheapon. I've realized when uh, costumes set up like this, they actually set up in uh, size differences. So I think this guy's a small, this guy's a medium, and that guy's a large. Since I don't need larges, and I already have a gorilla suit, I'm gonna take care of him. I'm gonna go for business tiger right in the middle. Trius. He's going to be mine now. Maybe he'll have some good stats, and maybe he'll be a medium, like I think he is. Because I'm just assuming things about this game. I'm, I'm starting to see patterns going on. I thought this game was just random in some ways. Stay still, you stupid business tiger! I hate you the most. Shouldn't you be doing some marketing stuff? Instead of battling me in some kind of Lego maze? Yeah, that's right. Now you're late for work. You've just realized. He'll never see his tiger wife and kids. Because now he's a suit. Oh, he's small. Okay, I'm wrong then. I guess some costumes spawn as certain things no matter what. Alright, let's compare that to the uh, cow suit. 36, 31, and 39. This guy has... nowhere near as good. He does have more agility, though, so maybe I'll mesh, mesh his head on top of a cow body. Because why the heck not? It's better stats. It's a better agility. Alright, I'm pretty sure I gotta go this way. Right into these Charlies! I didn't fight them before, did I? But now I can. I have better stats. 
They can put your team to sleep. Actually, I did think we ran across the Charlies before. Hopefully he doesn't extend the battle. Nope, he didn't. He was a fool. He could have gotten three free turns on us because there's no way to become immune to status effects. Alright, thank you for the candy at least. That's really good. I think I'm gonna have to start speeding up the video when it happens. Also, speaking of speeding up the video, listen to this. If you speed up the game, it sounds pretty sinister. It sounds like you'd hear some kind of menacing theme in, like, Zelda or something. So there is some cheery lies going on, apparently. Hidden just under the surface, unless we use an emulator to bring them out. You just got a canned item. What is canned item? Also, I picked up that luck up from the sixth floor that was next to exit E. Okay, great. Good idea. Great idea. I, I got a great idea out of that. I know everything about the canned item now. I'm just gonna hold on to that, but I'm gonna get lucky. I'm gonna get extra lucky. Chocobos are always lucky. That's why I get all the luck. Now I'm pretty much done with this floor, but it's gonna be a long way to uh, where I need to be. And I didn't get a map, did I? I'm just gonna have to go by my gut instinct. The exit is all the way to the west. The southwest, actually. And we're gonna get assaulted by weak enemies that aren't even worth the candy. Or don't even drop candy like Goose over here. That's the guy I destroyed in the... Uh, what was it? The Pudding Tower. Yeah, I was dressed as him for a while. I'm pretty sure I'm still going the right way. This is a baseless accusation, but yeah, I think I went too far. I think it's down here. Ah, the butterflies are back, but I have better agility now. They will never evade my might. Remember, they were a huge pain in the butt in the cake tower. It's like this last tower here is a huge amalgamation of all the towers, but it didn't bother to increase anybody's stats. Okay, I think I'm absolutely lost now. I think I'm going back the way I came. I really should have bought that map. Alright, if I go west and south, I should be able to get somewhere. Oh, you know what? I was thinking about a different floor. That's how I got myself lost. There's another floor I'm thinking of. Actually, it's two floors above us. I was trying to compare my knowledge of that map to the map that I was actually looking at and going, wait a second, something's not right here. Also, would these butterflies just let me run away already? Thank you. Jeez. Alright, I know where I'm going now. I'm confident that that right there is the exit, being guarded by Cheapon. I would like to pop a protection, but um, maybe there's some good costumes up ahead that I want to pick up. Welcome to Floor 8! It's another one of those silly patterns that have nothing at all going on in them. These two areas right here will lead to maps, or uh, lead to warps, and they'll just lead to other warps, and then you'll feel stupid and silly. There's also uh, a magic carpet on this floor, too. Hmm, I gotta fight these guys now. It's like the encounter rate hates me today. It probably does. Sadly, there's nothing much to say about these guys anymore. They're Charlies. They'll put you to sleep. Alright, how about we just speed past this? Yeah, time manipulation. What happened to your turns? You wasted them. And now I've wasted you. At least the candies are good. Yeah, that's me speeding up the game because uh, it wants to count out each individual individual candy to you. All right, time for something new. Time for the ninth floor. There's a present in here, but we can't get to the present. There's no way to get to the present from this floor. There's a warp, but it goes the wrong way. Also, there's a tool shop here. You know what? I'm checking out the tool shop. Then we got boo-boos and atom skis. Which are which? Now, I'll tell you right now. This car right here, his name is Boo-Boo. Why? I don't know. It's weird like that. And atom skis could put you to sleep as well. Well, that's just fantastic. Thank you, UFO. You know what? I would never realize those are UFOs unless they actually written their descriptor on the UFO. 
Because I would have just thought they were something else entirely. Well, they wasted all their turns using um, sleep attacks. Well, that's just great for them. They're weak to one single punch. Especially with the suits I'm wearing that have huge punch stats. Get punched by cow. Now the cow is abducting you! The tides have turned. Really good candy, though. I'm very proud of that. Thank you, Adamski. That was the name of that alien. Oh no, more of them. Ah! Get out of here. I'm good. You know what? I'm gonna pop a protection. If there's gonna be rare enemies, then I guess I'll just farm them later. But I'm using a protection now. I am now protected from enemies. Also, as the game has some kind of weird pausing thing whenever you use an item. And speaking of pausing, I'm gonna save again. You know, just in case things go badly. I don't think they will, but just in case. Oh, he's just selling the same stuff on the from the the seventh floor. I thought they would have changed up their inventory a little bit. There's one particular floor in this dungeon. I think it's floor ten that you can buy a really really good item. That'll make the final boss of this game really, really easy. But we don't have that yet. I was just at the shop. They were selling the exact same thing. Darn it, Mikhail. Be useful for once. Alright, I forgot where I was going because Mikhail. I think I'm going this way. Yeah, I gotta go around the present room. So I can get somewhere else. Ah, this looks suspicious. We have doors, and then there's a wall right in the middle of the door. I knew it! This is a great item! The Mystery Elixir! It's a mystery, because it's hidden! I think all the Mystery Elixirs are hidden. Everybody's max HP increases! Well, I'm holding on to that until I have a full team. Then everybody could get an HP up. And we're done with this floor, for now. We're gonna be heading to the 10th floor. Now, I'm showing you a map. Do you notice something different about that map? I'll tell you what. The lack of a map room. That's right. The map room is gone. This is a dark floor. There is no map for it. They want you to get lost. And I'll tell you right now, don't go to the north of this room. Ever. It's just a whole mess of warps and you'll just get stuck in it. Also, there were some new enemies there, but I just didn't want to be able to deal with them right now. I wanted this thing. It's another luck up! I'm gonna get extra lucky. Give me that luck up. I'm wondering what that canned item will do. It's probably some kind of, like, all-party heal or something like that. It's just a can of beans. But uh, I need to head over in this direction, too. There's this room right here. It has a fake wall in it. Right there. I can't show you it, because obviously there will never be a map of this floor. I don't even know how the heck the guy managed to map this all out. He must have just walked square by square, just taking notes. The game does tell you you can make maps of this game, and tells you that they're a certain size, but... Then it also goes ahead and tells you, hey, they might be bigger. I was actually confused, that ain't the wall. This is the wall right here. And it's guarded by a Carmen and a Big Sparrow! No, Big Sparrow is nothing new. He could die now. That's right, no one cares, Big Sparrow. But now we have Carmen. I don't know why they named a turtle Carmen, but now he got punched in the face. Don't punch him in the shell, that's ridiculous. Nothing's gonna happen. Actually, I, I don't think he's immune to damage, it's just he takes less of it. But we got Carmen! He has some pretty good punch and defensive power, but he's terrible at everything else. What's my defensive power? Only one less. I... I don't know if I want to become Turtle. Right here is a hole! This is how we get to the prison. The prison is in, uh... It's in that room, but guarded by Garopan and Yetis. Oh, I'm gonna try my luck. Last time I could not get a Garopan medium to drop. In fact, I'm starting to think that they never drop as medium. But I still want one. And also, he's just spamming ice attacks at me. Not pleased in the least. Alright, we need to take care of that other Yeti yet. He might destroy us. I don't know. Alright, he didn't choose to ice us again. That would have been 
very effective at my life. Very effective at killing me. Alright, you better be a medium. You were causing so much trouble. I think I might pop another protection, but I'm going to be ending this video soon anyway. Uh, I didn't make as much progress as I hoped to make because of encounters. You're still large. I hate you. I don't think they ever drop mediums. Alright, right there. This room will give us a present. And I always want to collect these presents. Especially this one, since it's uh, rather out of the way. And then we warp to the outside of this area. You know what? I'm just going to walk back on my own volition. I'll see you in a little bit. I had a phone call while I was doing my off-screen thing, but I'm outside the final part of Floor 10 now. In here is a present. And it's through one of these fake walls, which I think is right here. Yeah. Can't show you where that is, obviously, because the only map I can show you is the one I have. But that's a present there. Also, if you looked at that map again, it doesn't look like there's a door here, but there's definitely a door here. Yeah, it's not punking you or anything, I think the guy just forgot to make it green. But we just head through here. Oh, these guys again. Well, I'm glad they're here. The Gorgoron has some good defense and some decent kick, but that's about it. What I'm more concerned about is, um... Key. How do you pronounce that? C-K-Y. Siki? Siki? I think that might be a messed up translation. Maybe it was supposed to be, like, uh, Rocky or something. And, uh, he missed out on a couple letters. Oh well. Goodbye, Seeky, and your brother Seeky. I exploded you into the Negaverse. I seem to threaten a lot of people with the Negaverse lately. But it's just a fun place to be. You should take your grandmother to the Negaverse. Show her how great it is. We get it, thank you. I'm getting the heck out of here. Floor 10 is a silly place. Oh boy, a sillier place! So, this is the reason why I'm going to hold off until the next video to finish this tower, because... 11th, 12th, and 13th floor is one big teleporter maze. And there's not a heck of a lot in it. I mean, I could try it now, but then we'll end up at like the 20 minute mark. Oh, hey, look at this! Mikhail's selling new stuff, and I really want these. If I remember correctly, protection amulets can make you immune to the final boss. I'm not sure on that, but um, I do remember some kind of amulet in this game will make you immune to the final boss. That increases their ability a lot. So, I'm going to keep those around when I have a full party and we're fighting the final boss of this game. Heaven knows who that is. Probably some kind of plushy abomination demon. We're going to be immune to him. Don't you worry. Next time on Dream Maze the Kigurumi Adventure, the teleporter maze. Good night, folks.